I'm sorry about what happened to your comrade, Lewin. Are you going to be all right? First Black Riders, now Barrow Whites. This is more than men should have to contend with. <sighs> but where there is life, there is hope. Thanks for your concern, but I will be all right. I owe it to those who have fallen to go on as best I may. We've gathered some rich treasures from this tomb. You certainly deserve a share. Thanks, but it would only serve to remind me of all of this. You keep what you have won. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should come with us to Rivendell. Or we can take you to Bree. It's not far away. No, I, I feel my strength returning. I'll soon be myself again. And then I will bear Kalaran's body away from these tainted tombs. He should be buried with the rest of his brothers who fell at Sarn Ford. That's a noble mission. I hope he can rest in peace now. Farewell. Ah, Master Elrond. Allow me to present to you Farin of Erebor, a very valiant dwarf. Indeed. It is an honor to welcome one so brave to my home, and your companions as well. I am grateful for what you did at Fornost. If Agandaur's forces had joined in the hunt, there is little chance that I and my charges would have made it here to safety. Happy to have been of service. And I'm glad to see you made it here in one piece. But I still have no idea why your mission was so urgent. I think it is time we told our newfound friends what they have gotten themselves into. Kandalf! I should have known you would be involved with this somehow. Indeed. Wherever there is trouble and strife and the enemy is stirring, there you will find Gandalf the Grey. Are you going to explain all that has happened, Gandalf? I'm eager to learn why the enemy sent the Nazgul into the Shire. You have more than earned such an explanation. Tell me, what do you know of Isildur's Bane? Isildur's Bane? Isn't that another name for the Ring of Power? Quite right. The Ring of Power. The One Ring. The Ruling Ring. After lying lost and nearly forgotten for centuries, Sauron's ring has once again been found. Do you mean to say the happening Aragorn rescued has come into possession of the Dark Lord's ring? It's a mighty good thing we managed to get it here safely. What will become of it? There is no safe resting place for the ring, not even here in Imladris. It is a danger to all who come near to it. There is only one course left to us. The ring must be destroyed. To do so, the ring will need to be cast into the same fires from which it was forged. Those of Mount Doom, in the land of Mordor. The hobbit, Frodo Baggins, has agreed to take it there. Surely you don't intend to send him there alone? No, certainly not. A fellowship will be formed. A fellowship of nine. Nine walkers set against Sauron's nine black riders. Among this fellowship will be representatives of all the free peoples of the world. Elves, dwarves, and men. Aragorn and I will both be... What about us? Is there nothing we can do to help? 
The Nazgul and Agandaur are dire threats. We must learn all we can of their movements before the Fellowship is to depart. Scouts will be sent out in every direction to scour the lands around Rivendell. Your aid in this would be of great service to our cause. Very well. Where should we start? Agandaur is our chief concern. Although the Nazgul are powerful foes, a mission here in the north is abundantly clear. We can only guess what Agandaur may be planning, or where he went after he escaped from you. I suspect he may be planning to move against us here. Sauron's hatred of the Elves is very great, and he does not forget the hand we played in his defeat during the War of the Last Alliance. If it is strength he wants, he may well find it among the Etten Wars. You know that region better than I. What can you tell me of the Etten Wars? The Etten Wars are a spur of the Misty Mountains, lying almost directly north of Rivendell. It is a wild region of very rugged terrain, home to many trolls and giants. I myself was in the Etten Wars but days ago. I saw no sign of Agandaur's presence, but neither did I encounter trolls. That fact alone is troubling. It could be that they are gathering in force somewhere among the moors. If that's so, we don't want them taking us by surprise. We'll make our way to the Etten Moors and see what we can find out. From what I have heard of you, from Aragorn and Elrond's sons, I expected no less. Still, you have had a long road and hard fighting to get this far. Take what time you need to rest and recover before you set out. The Etten Moors are a dangerous place for the unprepared. The hospitality of my house is yours for as long as you wish. Even in strange surroundings, you can trust a dwarf to find his way to a forge. You are welcome in my smithy, foreign of Erebor. Hmm. You don't look like any elf of Rivendell. I'd wager you are one of the wood elves of Mirkwood. You are correct. I am Legolas, son of Thranduil, king of the Woodland Realm. Goodbye, wood elf. My lad, by my beard, it's good to see you again. When you left Erebor to stand guard on the Shire, Gimli and I feared we might be seeing the last of you. Now I hear you stood with the Rangers in the battle against the Nazgul at Sarn Ford, and bested an orc chieftain at Fornost. Good work! I can't take all the credit. I had Andrio, an elf of Rivendell, and the Ranger, Aradan, at my back. Reminds me of the old days, when Dwarf... I'd best be... Gimli, son of Glowen! This is a happy meeting. But what brings you to Rivendell? What has passed for good or ill since I left the mountain? Aye, and it's good to see you again, kinsman. I've heard of your exploits at Sarnford and Fornast. They sing your praises here. After you left to aid in the protection of the Shire, the foul messenger from Mordor returned yet again with more threats. King Dane thought it best to seek advice from Elrond. He chose Glowen to speak for him. 
When my father set out, I refused to be left behind, as happened with Thorin's quest. You were there at the Battle of the Five Armies, while I was left to cool my heels at the hearth side. Well, not this time. I go with the Hobbit Frodo and his chosen nine, even if one of them must be a wood elf. Fare you well, kinsman. May we both find victory at the end of our roads. The sun shines and all is fair and peaceful here in Elmadris. A far cry from the blood and dust of Fornast, is it not? You and your companions did very well there. Indeed, things might have gone badly for us had you not been there. You have earned some time to recover from the toils of battle and hard travel. And I believe you will find no place better for the restoration of body and... I should prepare for my journey north. Farewell. Yeah. <laughs> 